Welcome to ShowerFilterStore.com. Today we're going to show you how to install a new shower filter in three easy steps. It's really quite simple. Step number one is to remove this existing shower head. Now this is the opportunity where you may need to use a pliers or a channel locks if your existing shower head is on very tight. So we're going to initially use the pliers just to get it going and once it's going we can then do it by hand like so in a counterclockwise direction simply remove the existing shower head from the pipe or shower arm and then you'll see it exposed these threads. Now we're ready for step number two. Once the shower head has been removed you can see the threads on the shower arm or shower pipe. Now sometimes these have particles on them, sand or grit, and what you want to do is to take a cloth and just wipe it clean. Make sure you have a clean surface before applying the Teflon tape. Then you'll take your Teflon tape, which helps prevent any leakage once the shower filter has been installed, and place it on the threads of the pipe, like so, and you start to wrap it around. I would do this about five or six times, like that. And when you're finished, pull the tape, take your hand, smooth it out, and now you're ready for the installation. Now that the Teflon tape has been applied to the shower arm, we're ready for step three, the installation of the Rainmaker handheld seven spray shower filter. The first part of that is to install the holding bracket to the pipe or shower arm. And that gets screwed on in a clockwise direction like so. Once that's in place, you see this threaded portion? That's the part that gets attached to the hose, which comes next. And I want to show you something about the hose. The part of the hose that has six sides to it, this is the part that gets attached here. And inside you can see a black washer. This is really important. This washer has to be in place to prevent any possible leakage. Once that's in place, we're ready to attach the hose to the bracket in a clockwise direction. Like so. And now we're ready for the final phase to attach the other end of the hose to the shower filter itself. The other end of the hose, as you can see, is cylindrical, a cone shape. It gets attached to the wand by placing it up to the threaded portion of the wand and then screwing it again in a counterclockwise direction, nice and tight. And then the unit gets placed in the holder where it sits, and now we're ready for chlorine-free rejuvenating showers with the Rainmaker handheld 7-spray shower filter from Shower Filter Store.